in the programmable logic devices like we can program somehow we, something we can program some of the module we can program if we can recall we have a two different kind of array one is the end array and the second one is the or array so the programmable logic devices can be like either uh, uh, there could be one one possibility could be like only end array is programmable and or array is fixed second possibility could be end array is fixed and or array is programmable third possibility could be end and or both are programmable so we can have a uh, three possibilities okay uh, based on end and or array uh, we can have four possibility first possibility could be like both are fixed which we have already seen which which is the rom read only memory okay the other three possibility could be like uh, fixed programmable programmable fixed and programmable programmable so let us try to discuss all those things so the the one of the programmable logic device is the programmable read only memory okay as of now we have saw uh, we have seen like the programmable uh, read only memory but there is one uh, variant of the read only memory and that variant is nothing but the, that is the programmable read only memory okay what this programmable read only memory do and how it is different from the um, uh, read only memory so if i'm talking about the programmable read only memory in this one end structure is fixed just like a read only memory okay end structure is fixed but the change is r structure is programmable the r structure is programmable means the output sites are programmable we can program it based on our requirement and, and but we we cannot program the input side okay so the end array are fixed and r are programmable okay so uh, we will have a fixed connection at the input side but we will have a programmable connection at the output side okay so this is uh, how the programmable read only memory is different from the uh, read only memory okay so this is the important thing now suppose if i have to design some uh, other kind of segment the other kind of pro programmable logic device is the programmable logic uh, array logic other kind of programmable logic device is the programmable array logic the programmable uh, in the programmable array logic we have a programmable r structure like r structure uh, sorry programmable and structure and the output structure which is the r this is the fixed one okay so if we can program the input side then and outputs are fixed then we can call them the pal or the programmable array logic okay the programmable array logic is nothing but this is like if uh, the 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 input sides are programmable and outputs are fixed then those are the programmable array logic the fourth kind of area a third kind of uh, so here the the input connections are programmable and output connections are fixed one third kind of variant could be the programmable logic array okay so don't be confused here we have programmable array logic and here we have programmable logic array and the difference between these two are like in in the programmable array logic we have a programmable and uh, array but fixed r but if we talk about the pla in the pla both the sections are programmable okay so this is how inputs and outputs both are programmable so if you talk about the flexibility how much flexible the different kind of uh, devices are if you talk about the read only memory read only memory is not flexible once it is designed for a particular function you cannot change it okay so changes are not possible in the read only memory but the second if we talk about a second one the uh, uh, p rom or programmable read only memory we have some flexibility like the output sites can be programmed or r or a can be programmed similarly the third structure third kind of structure could be pal here the end array can be programmed so there is some flexibility but the maximum flexibility on designing we can see or we can observe or we can have in the programmable logic array so programmable logic array is more flexible to design the function as per our requirement whenever we want 
okay so this is how the different kind of programmable logic arrays are now let us discuss one by one okay so let us first consider the uh, p rom we know that the p rom is nothing but where the uh, end array are fixed and the uh, or array are programmable okay so how to do that okay similarly the structures are same like what we have already done it so there are fixed link which is 2 into n into 2 to the power n so these are the fixed links okay and similarly the fusible link fusible links means which can be programmed so fixed links means you can see here these are represented with the n circle circle means but the programmable or fusible that are given with the cross symbol if you can see here so total number of output fusible links are nothing but they are uh, to the power n into m where m is the number of outputs and uh, n is the number of inputs so this is how it is related the only difference between p rom and rom is uh, in the p rom this was also fixed but in the p rom this is fusible fusible means which can be programmed okay now considering this concept let us try to take the same example uh, uh, implement the half header using p rom so we know that this is a truth table and this is the sum and the carry okay so how we can make that let us try to see here uh this is nothing but here we have a, a a1 here we have a a0 so this is giving a1 a1 bar a0 and a0 bar so these four are the possibilities so total number of links these are the 16 which we have already seen okay if we try to see uh, because the input links are fixed okay input links are fixed what it means i have to fix based on our requirement okay so if you see here 0 0 is there and i need this one so the 0 0 that should be fixed means this and this should be encircled okay 0 1 means this and this should be encircled 1 0 means this one and this one should be encircled and 1 1 means this one and this one should be encircled and if these are encircled something like this i will get output something like a1 bar a0 bar a1 bar a0 a1 a0 bar a1 and a0 okay now let us talk about because the output lines are the programmable if the output lines are programmable then how we can make those things let us assume uh, i'm talking about this is for sum and this is for carry okay and this output enable is same like a before what we have uh, whatever we have discussed uh, in the previous slide so this is the sum and this is the carry if i have to make sum so the line a g a1 bar a0 and a1 a0 bar this should be uh, program this should be fused and if this should be fused so this should be crossed so this will be and this will be crossed so these two lines will be crossed and if we talk about for carry this line will be crossed and this is how the the logic can be designed based on the programmable okay so this is what what we can do similarly suppose i have to make a uh, a uh, uh, half header and half a uh, half subtractor both okay so if We we have a uh, read only memory, so I need one whole structure for half header, and similarly a whole structure for half subtractor. But if we talk about the uh, PROM, we can have some updates. Okay, so if we talk about the borrow and uh, difference, so let us try to see borrow and difference. What is the borrow and difference? Borrow and difference is nothing but like uh, zero minus zero difference will be zero. Uh, let us consider this one 1 minus 0 difference will be 1 1 minus 1 difference will be 0 and uh, if you talk about the uh, this one the 0 minus 1 i have to take borrow 1 and then rest will be zero. so this is the truth table now if you try to see sum and difference are same so the from same line i can take the sum and difference so this is fine but 
if I have to make the borrow, so what I can do, I can simply use only one section here, something like this, and that I will give it like uh, a borrow, okay? And based on that, what I have to do, I have to connect. What I have to connect? I have to connect only the second portion. So if I have to cross this one, so the simple, the single circuit that can act as a half adder as well as half subtractor. Okay, so this is the benefit what where we can uh, utilize uh, uh, in the PROM and which was not available in the read only memory. Okay, so this is the important thing that you have to understand. If you have any doubt at this point, anyone, you can ask the question. Okay, so I am I'm giving one minute time to think and if you have any doubt on it, you can ask the question. So just look into this, how it has been done. Uh, you can ask the question. Sir, can you explain again that fusible link? Which one? We, uh, which I have to explain? That fusible link. Actually, I didn't understand the difference between PROM and ROM. Okay. Okay. Let me explain. If you can go back to the previous slide. Here, this is the ROM, only read only memory. Read only memory means once uh, the connection has been done, once the connection is done, then you cannot program it. Okay, you cannot program it, which means what? Suppose I have a structure something like this. So if I have made a half header with the help of read only memory, in that case, once this is done, you cannot change it. It is not possible. Okay, so this is the case. For like months, if we have connected these two lines, then you cannot remove it. This connection will be permanent. Okay. This input connection as well as the output connection, these all will be the permanent. You cannot change in the ROM. Now, if we talk about, yeah, so this is the thing what about, uh, is, uh, that is in the ROM. Now let us talk about the PROM. In the PROM, what is there? Let us try to see. In the PROM, the input sides are fixed. So once they, these are fixed, you cannot do any of the programming here, but whatever the output sections is here, like this, uh, our kind of uh, things are there. You can program as per requirement. Let us, let, let me explain uh, one more time what I have made. Suppose I have uh, the PROM, where the input side is fixed. So input cannot be changed, but the output can be changed. So the, in the output, if you see, let us assume as of now, I have designed this circuit as a half header. Okay. If I have designed it as a half header, so the connections will be something like this. Now, after some time, if the half header work is done and I want to use it as a, another kind of circuit. Okay. So let us assume I want to use it as a uh, half subtractor. So what I have to do, I will remove this. Okay. Whatever the connection I have made, I can erase it and then I can reprogram it. Okay. So I will erase first, then I will use now it as a, uh, half subtractor and for half sub subtractor, let us try to see, let us assume this is the difference and this is the borrow. So in that case, difference will be connected to this one and this one and the borrow will be connected to this one. So I will, so now this circuit will be start behaving like a half subtractor. So this portion is programmable. You can erase it as per your, your requirement and you can mod modify it. Okay. So this is how the PROM is different from the uh, ROM. Is your doubt is clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is how we can do that. Okay. So fusible means like, see uh, the important, important point that you have to understand here, fusible means you can fuse it, like you can program it, then you can erase it. So uh, program erase, program erase, this is possible in the PROM. Okay. So whenever you want to program, you can do it. But in the case of uh, ROM, you cannot do it. Once it is programmed and uh, now the, it is not possible that you have to do it. So this is sum and this is the carry. So this is for the half header. The third kind of structure, the third kind of programmable uh, device is the uh, programmable array logic. Okay. 
how the programming array logic is different from the other things. In the programming array logic, if you can uh, recall, the input side or end logic was programmable. Okay, and the R was fixed. Okay, means R is fixed, the output side was fixed, and the input side was not fixed. Okay, so let us try to see how it looks like. Again, see here. Uh, if we talk about the uh, PAL, in the PAL, you can uh, have this 2 to the power n into k. What this k is? k is because uh, the input side is programmable. So how many product terms are there? How many product terms, terms are there? Based on that, you have to decide what is how many fusible links are possible. Okay. So the maximum limit of the fusible link is also like this k, the maximum value of this k could be 2 to the power n. This is possible, but it depends on the k only. Okay, the maximum limit of this k, the k is uh, less than r is equal to 2 to the power n. Okay, so here k indicates how many product terms are there. So the total number of fusible links are uh, 2 into n into k. Okay. And where this k can be less than 2 to the power n or it could be is equal to 2 to the power n. Okay. And here n is nothing but this is the number of input. Okay. Uh, and that depends on how many product terms are there. Okay. Yeah. So let me write it. K is less than is equal to 2 to the power n. The next term, if you talk about the output one, the output is nothing but this is same like because it is fixed. So it is k into m. Okay. Here, the k is the uh, number of the product terms or the number of end gates, okay? And the m is the number of output. So based on that, you can define how many fixed links are there. So this is the concept for the uh, programmable array logic. Now let, let us take the same example, whatever we have just taken in the previous one. So, and then try to design it. Let us try to implement the half header using programmable array logic and we know that this is a truth table for the half header and the sum and the carry are given like this now suppose i have to program something like this with the help of pal so here i will have a1 a0 and so at the output i will have a four poss possibilities a1 a1 bar a0 and a0 bar so at this point I will get the uh, a1 bar, a0 bar. Here I will get a1 bar, a0, a1, a0 bar, a1, a0. Okay. Now let us try to program it. Okay. Let us assume I just wanted to make the half header. So how we can program it? Let us try to do one by one. If I want to program here on the input side, so uh, because this is the fusible one, okay? This is the fusible one means there are four possibilities, zero, zero. So I can program this one, this one, zero, one. These are the programmable. One, zero means one and the zero and one, one means this one. So this is how we can program on the input side. Suppose there are some possibilities where this fourth combination is not available. Okay, this fourth combination is not available. In that case, this end gate is not required. Okay, so let us assume I have, I have only these three possibilities. Okay, like I have only three possibilities. I don't have this fourth possibility. In that case, this, this end gate is not required. So that is how we decide this K. So this K is decided based on how many min terms or how many product like product terms are there okay so how many product terms, uh, terms are there based on that we have to decide how many end gates are required okay so in, in case if any in any of the problem only three min terms are given then you don't need this one so total number of min term uh, indicates how many end gates are required okay so this k comes from there yes of course the maximum limit could be like two to the power n Suppose I have a two variable, so the total possibility could be two to the power two means four number of possibility could be there. But there may there may be some chances like any of the min term is missing. So if any of the min term is missing in that case, that end gate is not required. 
so the k comes into the picture and then k is defined like this one okay so this is the importance of k here now let us try to understand the things yeah as of now let us i am considering like i have a half header having all the possibilities okay so if all the possibilities are there and something like this so let us try to see okay i have to fix it okay i have to fix it like uh, at the output side because in the programmable array logic i have to fix something and if i want to fix let us try to see what uh, for the sum i have to fix m1 and the m2 so m1 and m2 need to be fixed so this is for the sum so sum will be like these two will be fixed now let us talk about for the carry for the carry m3 is fixed so m3 is fixed something like this one okay now now closely look into this diagram whatever i have here i am getting sum and carry based on all the connections whatever i have which we have already understand but if you can closely look into this this particular like even though i have this end gate this end gate is not programmed here this is not connected to any of these thing so why i need this one there is no requirement of this end gate okay so this end gate uh, whatever i have just given a1 bar a0 bar this is not required and if this is not required what it means i can remove this portion and if i can remove this portion what it means k now it k will become 3 so in this uh, particular problem the k will be 3 because one of the end gate was not required at the output side it was not used so the k will be 3 okay so the how k is defined how the k k we used to get it this depends on how many end gates are getting connected to the output sections okay so this is how we can uh solve the problem in this case yeah so k is equal to 3 so if anyone has any doubt how how i got this one and how how i defined this k so you can ask the thing okay so let me highlight something not needed okay so you can delete it you can remove it okay so if anyone has any doubt you can ask the questions otherwise we can move ahead so the if there is no problem then let us move ahead with the next kind of logic next so next kind of uh, the logic is programmable logic array okay programmable uh, logic array i just told you before the programmable logic array is uh, 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 something Uh, different from others where we can program input side as well as the output side both are programmable both are doable okay uh, so let us try to see it how it could be done so this is the simple structure uh, for the pla okay where this uh, number of fusible links like in both the side uh, the links will be fusible input link and the output link both will be fusible and input side i need 2 into n into k and this n this k is nothing but this is same like the the limit of this k is less than or is equal to 2 to the power n so the maximum value of k could uh, this can be 2 to the power n but yes th this could be less than that one also so this is also possible that depends like how many uh, uh, connections we have to make okay based on that we can decide what will be the value of k okay and similarly based on this k and based on this number of output i can decide how many fusible links are required uh, on the uh, this one on the output side okay now let us take the same same example there is no big difference between all these things so let us try to implement the same problem like half header why i am considering the same problem because you will be able to uh, uh, dif differentiate between all this structure whatever i just i am just teaching okay uh, so you can understand how much flexibility we have with all kind of this structures 
Okay, so yeah, similarly, the uh, truth table and the sum and the carry expression is something like this. Okay, now let us try to program it. How it could be programmed? So here I will have a one. Here I will have a zero. Okay, a one and a zero. So at the output I will get a one, a one bar. Like uh, these are the one a zero and a zero bar. So these all are the uh, links which we have. Okay. Out of these links, uh, if we try to see on the input side, what are the possibilities? Let us try to see. On input side, like zero zero is there. Okay, so yeah, let me write first. Uh, this can give a one a zero, a one bar a zero, a one a zero bar, and a one a zero. Okay, these all are the possibilities. Now let us try to uh, program it. Okay. For zero zero, like I have to cross these two. For zero one, I have to cross these two. For one zero, I have to cross this one, and for one one, I have to cross these two. Okay. Now let us try to see the output. At the output, I have to connect one and two. Okay, one and two means like. Here I will have one, and I will have two. Okay, and uh, if it is for sum and for carry, I need for three. Okay, so again, now if you see here, the this link is again not needed in the uh, PLA. Okay, so this is not needed. So if it is not needed. Means the k will become three in this case as well. So this is how it is different from the PAL. Okay. So if anyone has any doubt on uh, at this point, you can ask the questions. Yeah, this is quite easy. It's not that much difficult. It is easily doable. So you can do it. Okay. So based on this understanding, uh, there is some uh, tutorial questions that you have to do. Uh, design a full adder, half subtractor, and full subtractor using ROM, PROM, PAL, and the PLA. Uh, design a BCD to access three code converter using all the four variants. Okay, so these are some tutorial questions that you have to do at home, and you have to also find for this uh, PLA and the uh, PAL. You have to also find what is the value of K. Okay, what is the value of k in these two cases? Okay, for PLA and the PAL, you have to also find what is the value of k. Okay, so this is all about the tutorial problem, and that's that's end of the programmable logic device.